I say, what's up, y'all? It's TC time. What's up, y'all? It's TC time. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Bam, 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 bam. What's up, guys? This is TC, and this is the uh, second video of the Power Gun series. So, if anybody out there is on video number two instead of number one, go back to video number one. It's called the King's Power Gun series. There will be a link in the very end of the video. This is the gun right here that was in the video. Alright, as you'll no notice in the build video, I guess this would be video number three. Video number two was the demo and the first video was a condensed version of the build. Um, I made it as short as possible because you know, I didn't want to waste anybody's time. If you, and if you start building it, we're going to spend a little more time on the important stuff. All right, now, the first thing I need to tell everybody is, and I'd like to thank some friends of mine that I met online. Um, I don't know if it's cool to mention them by name or the group, but uh, they like to make stuff as well. And I asked some questions and got some advice, and I appreciate every bit of it. Um, anyways, the first thing that they brought to my attention is that you need to use a check valve. Well, I kind of knew that I haven't used a check valve in a long time because of the simple fact I know how to tune my nozzle to where I don't have any problems. But if you're new to something like this and you don't know exactly all what's going on and why it's going on, then definitely use a check valve. And for the nozzle demo, I'm going to say you have, must use a check valve before you get started. This is a three quarter inch. The reason why we have two female ends on this is because I screw this right into my garden hose faucet on my house. The end that's normally on the end of your garden hose goes on this end. And then the reinforced end, the good end, will screw right onto this end. Now if you are not using the check valve and able to reverse your garden hose, all you have to do is use a washing machine hose or change the bottom fitting on your gun to female garden hose. It's that simple. So anyways, you want to be sure and put this on your air compressor, okay? Uh, whenever you get it, there is a... Here, let's check this out. Right inside there, there's a, there's a nut, okay? And then there's the head of your bolt right there. What you want to do is you want to loosen that up all the way. Because garden hose only puts out 30 PSI, and air compressor will put out to 175 PSI. If the pressure ever drops in your airline uh, too low for the garden hose water to get into your airline, which it, after you use the gun a few times, that won't happen. You'll know when to shut it off. But if that does happen, it'll, it'll stop the flow of the water into the air. Just use that right there. You want to convert that down to your, most air fittings are quarter inch. And what you would want to do is just put a nipple on each end a type of fitting like this that reduces it down to a quarter inch or you could use you could use something like this this is just a reducing coupler it's three quarter to quarter inch just screw it right into there screw your airline into, into there make sure that you mark the direction of your valve like I've done right there that way I, I know that that way is always going to there's always going to go that way and you can test this by blowing in each end of your check valve with your mouth and the one that lets you blow through is is that way got that all right all right we're gonna we're gonna start off this is the actual nozzle that was on the gun in the video okay and this is how I used to start off we're gonna we're gonna try a couple extra, uh, a couple other things this time this time um, the thing is, on your nozzle, let's see here, we'll stick it just like that so everybody can see. You want, you want your nozzle hole to be just a little bit bigger than the inside pipe hole on your gun, okay? And if this hole is smaller than the inside air hole, the air can't escape from the gun, and you can back up the air into, into your water lines, and you don't want to do that. So 
So it's as simple as making sure that that hole is just a hair bigger than the hole on the inside. Um, if you use a deburring tool, you can use something like that, and you can check the get, you know, just mark it where the hole is on the, you cut it back to, and then stick it on the pipe on the inside of your gun, and make sure that those line up, and you want it to go, you want it to go in just a little further than what you was able to get it in on the inside hole. I mean, that's an easy way to do it. Or you can have a caliper if you have the right tools. All right, so anyways, after you cut, cut it off, you want to put a notch right down the middle. Okay, the notch down the middle is so whenever the water in the air is leaving the gun, it's going to fan out. You want to, you want to fan spray pattern. All right, so it's if you just leave it notched like that, it's going to go completely... It's going to be like a peacock tail, like a, a fan, like a real, it's, you know, 180 degrees. All right. So we, we're not trying to get into this hole down any further than it is right now. This hole is, we like this hole. And if we compress this hole down any further than this, no matter if we add something on here or we, what, if we bend it down, we are decreasing the size of the hole and we're the the volume of air and water that needs to come out of the gun will not be able to escape. That is bad. So make sure that whatever you do to your tip, and I encourage everybody to kind of see what I do, and then, you know, do your own thing on it. And after you do your own thing on it, come back to the video and leave a comment. I want to know what you did. We might even get some type of uh, chat form going on where people can post pictures. All right, so anyways, we don't want to, we don't want to, it's not like, we're not like pinching a garden hose, okay? We've got two different things happening here. We have air coming out and water coming out. Your water's coming in from the bottom and your air's coming in through the middle, okay? We want it to be able to escape. So, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we can slide this on right here. Here, I'll tell you what. Oh, no. All right. This one's a little bigger <laughs> than the original. I got different sizes so I could dent so I could play with it. Man. All right, so anyways, that's what this started off as, okay? That's all it is. This is a sprinkler fitting, okay? And I got it a little bit. I got it for this tip right here, and this tip, this slides right on. No problem, okay? Thing is, it won't slide over, it won't slide over that. So we had, I had to, my first option was to cut the tip off. Shaping the tip, when I compress it down, what I did is I actually I put my deburring tool right in there. To make to make absolutely sure that I did not compress that hole any further than I, than I wanted to. And then I just took pliers. I, I heated it up. You know, I actually I held it over my shop heater, little propane heater. Heated it up. And I took some pliers and I pinched it down. All that you, you really don't even have to secure it in any way. If you want to, you could glue it and down to your down to your nozzle if it made you feel better. But honest, honestly, all the pressure is escaping. You know, if it's this is done right, your pressure is escaping, and all this is doing is shaping your spray pattern. That's it, and that's how you get the really nice spray pattern and you can shape this however you want all right now something that very, something very interesting that I figured out when I was making this thing is that after this point right here all right this is how we have it on right now we have we have it on the, on there like that this is a little bigger on there like that what happens if you turn it around and make that hole bigger it actually increases your water volume. I don't know why. Okay, I do not know why it does this, but it, it does it. You 
increase that hole, you get more water. Okay, so that's pretty. That's just an interesting fact. I think that this tip right here works perfect. And if I'm washing a car, I'm not gonna mess with perfect. This is the tip I'm gonna use right here, and that's what it looks like right there. Okay. I just got some electrical tape and some duct tape on it to make it look a little nicer. Okay. Now, you'll notice we have two two different. I got brand new right here. Still have the flare on the end. Okay. I'm not gonna take that flare off of these, but I want everybody to buy two of these nozzles whenever you're making a gun, because we're gonna. I want you to do this first, and then this is gonna be later. We're going to have a quarter inch die, and what we're going to do is we're going to put it on there, we're going to mark it later, and we'll talk about that at a later date. It's for an upgrade, okay? So buy two nozzles. We, we, want, we want both nozzles. All right. Now then. That's what it looks like coming right out of the package. Okay, got an Ace Hardware, brand new out of the package, that's what the hole looks like, that's too small. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take you a step bit, it's marked. You're gonna hit that hole, put in a vise, hit that hole right in the middle, and flare it out. You'll notice that's a flared bit, flare it out. That's how deep you wanna go. Important. All right, guys. Next, I'm gonna take you a file bit. Then you're gonna smooth it out. Be sure to have it in your vise when you do this. That way you get it's nice and steady, and nothing slips. You get it right in the middle. All right. So that's the first option. Second option is we're going to still drill this hole. I'm going to go ahead and do it on this one. And we're going to deburr it. And, but on this one, we're going to cut a notch right, right across the top. And then we are going to take just a little bit off of each side. I'll show you why in a minute. Good news, guys. My old lady finally told me today after she watched me struggle all day trying to get everything to where I could shoot everything in one shot. She told me I could go ahead and get this editing software that is going to make these videos better. These awkward moments are going to be gone. Hopefully, it'll make everything better. All right, so. Get yourself all set. Drill your hole. Put on your safety glasses.
Okay, that's what it looks like at that point. Okay, at this point, what we're going to do is we are going to we're going to cut it right down the middle. I'll do it where y'all can see. Take a file. Clean it up. Now we're going to take a little off each side. After we've looked at our tool in. Alright, you want this one to look just like that. I'll take it off. And you want this one to look like that. And if you want to get crazy, take one down to just that and two weeks I will be back and we're going to test all of these okay we're going to test different tips we're going to test different spray, spray patterns this is how you make your nozzle this is how you do it safe if you're the least bit concerned put one of these on your water line and put one on your air line This is how you do it. Thanks for tuning in to TC Time.